So now we're going to get the machine threaded up so that we can start knitting. So I'm just going to show you a e-wrap cast on. Uh, we're going to just uh, select a series of needles from the center of the bed. I'm just using this tool um, which doubles as a couple of things as a ruler, um, also a tool for t pushing your needles out. Um, you can also use it to be selective and uh, um, choose every second needle. But we're going to knit with all of our needles for this one. First up we're going to cast on. This is a finished cast on that we're going to do and it's called an e-wrap cast on. So I'm just going to draw a length of yarn out um, so that I've got a little bit hanging so it's easy to work with. I'm going to do a, I'm going to make a slip knot. A very easy way to do that is to just grab your yarn, twist it, and this yarn that will be in front, just go through and grab that again. That's a slip knot, so you can see that you can pull it open and closed. This slip knot goes on to the opposite side to where the carriage is. So you want it on that first needle opposite the carriage. Just gonna pull a bit more length. So the ear wrap cast on, you move around the needles in the shape of an E. So that's counterclockwise. I'm just using that finger to hold. Yeah, so you have to, um, you use your hands quite ambidextrously. Um, and uh, so one hand will be guiding the yarn and the other one will be holding it in place. Um, you need to do this firmly, but not too tight because you can see that we have this teardrop shape at the head of the needle. You want your yarn to be able to um, go over that smoothly when you knit it off. This can take a little bit of practice to get the coordination down. Okay, so once we've finished doing that, I'm just going to pull my yarn from back here to help draw the tension back in. So this wire up the top that's holding our tension in the yarn, that's going to get drawn back down. Now this is now going to go into the carriage. You can see this is where it sits in the carriage and there are two sections, there's A and B. For plain knitting we're going to go into A, which is at the back, and then we'll close that latch. We use B when we're doing two colour knitting, so we don't have to think about that right now. And B is just that little hole. Yeah, so B yeah. is if you're popping it in there, yeah. so you would have to do that with the latch closed. So you pop that into A and the latch is closed as well? Yep. So we've got some nice tension on here, which means that this yarn, this excess yarn, will be drawn back up and we won't get a loop. Mm -hmm. So that's important, isn't it? Yeah. If, if this is up here, if this has not got that tension in it, then we'll end up with a loop of yarn there, yeah. which we don't want. Okay. For our first row, we just... Uh, leave it how it is um, and we'll put weights on for our second row. So we'll just move across a nice steady pace and you'll see that this is knitted off. Everyone except for this last one and so we can just give him a little tug to um, get him to sit nicely. So once we've done this we can put a couple of weights on. The weights help keep a nice tension on the needles so that um, when you're knitting, your knitting doesn't slip off the needles because you're getting a nice tension from below. So then we can just keep going and, and you'll see, it. yeah, so just 
I always have the rule that if anything's going to stuff up, it's going to stuff up in the first two or three rows. And uh, so we just like to keep checking. 